find the storms tracking along that jet stream. Well, all of the storms have been to the northwest of Boston. So all of our storms have been warm storms. Now, tonight, the jet stream has actually reorganized itself a little bit, and it has allowed just enough cold air to come into northern New England. As you're noting with uh, Pete's report and Marshall's report, it still is a battle zone out there at this time, but there's just enough cold air for this storm moving across New England that we have been seeing the rain and the snow go back and forth. Last winter, by the way, the jet stream has been well to the south across portions of the Virginias and North Carolina. So last winter, all of the storms were much farther south, meaning that all of our storms were cold storms. So it's been the position of the jet stream this winter compared to tonight. Tonight, just cold enough for some spots, especially away from the coastline, to get some patchy wet snow out there. And Pete's back in a few minutes to talk more about your morning commute. All right, make sure to wake up with 7 News before you head out tomorrow morning. Dylan Dreyer and Chris Lambert will join Pete tomorrow morning, give you the latest on the forecast. That's on Today in New England, and it starts at a special time of 4.30 tomorrow morning over on 7NBC. The same storm causing death and devastation in the Midwest. Felt a truck pick up and slam on its side and it drug across the parking lot. Buildings and lives torn apart, leaving the heartland heartbroken. At least nine people died, hundreds others hurt as storm stretched from Kansas to Kentucky. Tonight, those left unhurt are picking up the pieces. In the hours before dawn, a violent E4 tornado shattered this small community, a former coal mining town, with winds reaching 170 miles an hour. We were running through the hallways and it hit us. We didn't have time to, to even think about it. The twister flattened everything in its path, stretching for miles, homes and businesses torn apart, crushing trucks, uprooting trees, residents combing through the wreckage looking for anything worth saving and checking on neighbors. Our hearts broken, you know, knowing that we've lost, uh, you know, we've lost children, we've lost, uh, we've lost loved ones, we've lost, uh, you know, part of our family here in the in this community. In Harveyville, Kansas, a small town near Topeka, population less than 300, this storm chaser video shows a tornado barreling through about nine o'clock last night with lightning and swirling debris around the twister. Winds here, 135 miles an hour. All of a sudden, boy, the windows went out just like a big shotgun went off. As the sun came up this morning, shocked residents could finally see the extent of the damage. Close to half the small town structures, homes and businesses gone. Rescue workers spent the day looking for the lost and injured, often going door to door. The governor declared a state of emergency, and the Red Cross is assisting those with no place to go. Another tornado touched down in Branson, Missouri, a resort town popular with country music fans. Dozens injured here. Today, bulldozers work to clean up debris scattered by the tornado that tore through the heart of the city, destroying businesses. Country musician Denny Strickland stopped in town with his tour bus when the tornado hit. We heard the, all the rocks hitting the side first, and then I heard this loud roar, and before I knew it, I was upside down. Now he's going to have to find another way home. You always see these things uh, on TV or happen to somebody else. This time it happened to us. And crews are not done searching. They're going through the rubble and door to door looking for anyone who's still missing. A new at 10 tonight, firefighters battling fast moving flames at the Dorchester Yacht Club. That fire spread beneath the building for.